on guys Jack's the bearded hiker here and today's cook we're gonna be smoking us up a dry aged brisket we're gonna be doing it on the master built 560 gravity series now what I've done is I've dry aged this brisket for 45 days and I've done it in my refrigerator using the my dry bag system after the 45 days I pulled it out which was yesterday by the way I, so I pulled it out then and I trimmed all of that nasty bark that that brisket developed over the last 45 days then I wrapped it in saran wrap I stuck it in my refrigerator and I pulled it out this morning then what I did is I coated it liberally with Worcestershire sauce then I put on a little Elk Creek all-purpose rub followed by some Elk Creek barbecue rub I came out here, I put it on the master built, and we've been going for about two hours so far. All right, so let me tell you about the master built setup. Firstly, I have my temp set at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. I filled my hopper completely all the way up, but about every quarter of the way, I put in some post oak. So I got about four pieces of post oak in here. Also, in the ash pan, I've been feeding that with post oak as well. So I'm getting smoke not only from the hopper, but also the ash pan. Again, it's been on about two hours, and I've been coming out here, and I've spritzed it about once an hour with just plain water. Now, I'm not sure how long this cook is going to take, as this is my first time smoking a brisket on the Masterbuilt 560, but I have no reason to believe that it's not going to come out fantastic. So let's take a look at what we got so far. Just a quick little peek there. I know it's kind of dark in there. You can't see it but she's rolling like a charm. So one of the things I didn't mention here was I started out with this fat cap down, but what I just thought about I'm gonna do is, see it's how, I'm gonna flip it over because the fat cap on here was kind of light or almost non-existent in one spot after I trimmed it. So I just don't want to over dry it out too bad. So every couple hours I'll come in here and I'll flip it back over. Looking good though. Alright, we're about five hours in here and uh, just going to give it a little temp probe. A little bit of wool. Uh, wow. I don't know. We're running. Uh, that's 186. I'm getting in the 180s there. Wow. Oh. Points a little. Points at 163. So I'm going to wrap it. All right. I've already wrapped this once, but my paper wasn't. Uh, wide enough so I called James at Central Barbecue and he told me what to do so that's why it looks kind of moist so what did you do I'm gonna show you right now so we took two I had my I had two 18 inch pieces of butcher paper and we just kind of overlapped them by three inches and sprayed it down with a little water so I could do this tip <clears throat> that he was uh, that James was telling me about all right so we're fat side up so what I'm gonna do is just remember, fat side up. All right, now we are meat side up. I'm gonna fold that over really tight. Still meat side up. fat side up pretty tight and we'll just take this in here there's a little pocket right there we're just gonna shove this in there just like that all right now we're gonna go back in you can see right here where I already had it wrapped it's only been wrapped about 15 minutes. Not a big deal. All right, we're gonna finish her off. We're gonna put a probe in her. 
So we monitor that temp. All right. All right, guys, we'll see you when it's done. All right, I've been probing this joker, and we're just shy of 200 degrees in the thickest part of the point. So, but I'm thinking we're pretty good to go. So now I'm just gonna wrap this with some aluminum foil, just so I don't get my towel all jacked up. To the cooler we're gonna leave it in here I don't know a couple hours all right so I know somebody's gonna be asking I just now ran out of charcoal in there so we've been going let's see seven hours and 45 minutes total cook time so basically this is dropped down to 250 degrees so you can figure let's say about seven and a half hours, we would need to be adding some uh, charcoal if we were gonna continue cooking. Just FYI for the Master Built 560 people out there. All right, we'll see you in about a couple hours. All right, so it's been two hours, and uh, she's falling apart. go I'm just gonna just gonna go right in here for now hang on a second let's pull her let's go right in here Give her a look, see. Oh wow. Hmm. I mean, she's juicing. That's uh one of the best briskets I've done. Really good. Really happy. I would do the uh, 45 days again. This is one of the better briskets I've done, and it's, and it's not too dried out. I was worried about the flat, but look at that. And it's really juicy. All right, remember we did the Elk, uh, Elk Creek all-purpose rub and the barbecue rub. Um, I want to thank especially James Cruz over at Central City Barbecue. I'll leave his link below to his YouTube channel. He's only got like one or two videos out right now, but he is a pit master. He wins competition after competition after competition, and I want to thank you, James, for helping me out on this cook. Um, I couldn't have put this done this brisket as good had I not had your help. All right, guys, 45-day dry age brisket smoked on your Masterbuilt 560. Do it.